Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We have some freight to forward. Um, well, actually, we're needing more freight to forward. We need to get some iron going. We already have the iron ore being transported, but we need to change this into smelting iron plates and then shipping that. Um, we also... What are we... We need repair packs. I also want to try blueprinting some trees, so I think that's what I'm going to do in this episode. But I handcrafted a bunch of repair packs to put so that now that message can go away. Um, at least, shouldn't that message be going away now? Yeah, actually, we should just deconstruct that. Uh, so, let's blueprint some trees. We've got this set up now, and... What I'd like to do, though, is maximize the tree density, which I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly how to do. Like, is there a way to copy this? Hmm. I have to use the blueprint trees, trees? Even those can't be copied, though. How do you, how do you work the blueprint trees? I, I'm confused on how we make that work. Because it won't let me copy those. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. So you just have to, it's kind of like tiles in a weird way, and then we can just remove that stuff. Um, whoa. What the heck? What? Why? I want to make like a nice little smattering and then I want to chunkify it so that we have exactly one chunk of trees and I want to blueprint that And then I guess we have to throw some sort of entity nearby, and then I can copy. I guess those are just really tall trees. Um, copy that. Remove that and call this trees. Beautiful.
Oh, I can still fit some more in there, though. Need maximum tree density. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're uh, getting many more. There's a couple. All right, let's try this again. So trees, new contents, this. What? How does that work? Super weird. Select new contents, can't select trees. This game is weird, yo. chunk of trees all right y'all we're ready for this we are so ready for this why can't I click on it what the heck confusing. Wow, that was weird. Oh, I guess it was not in my inventory. I get it now. Um, Alright, so this chunk... It's gonna be trees, baby. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright, where are the bots? Oh, none of the bots are sent yet because I need to make them into chests. Provider chests. I'm ready for this. Future burning tree real estate. Exactly. Except not burning. More just like polluting. Poisoning. I'm not going to light them on fire. Don't worry. Whether you want me to or not, it's not happening. Okay, this is going to create a very large wave of bots. <laughs> Tell me it cares about the actual type of tree. Oh no. Oh no. doesn't look like it's working. Hold on. Get, get rid of these for a second. OK, 
Okay, those are working. Interesting. So it is. Particular type of tree, somehow. So then I have to copy like one of these chunks, basically. Um, all right, let me then fill the rest of this chunk with trees, I guess. And then I think what I'll do is I'll go back and then paste it in the editor so I can get exactly one chunk again. But yeah, this is, oops, I did not want to do all of that, just some of that. It's kind of annoying. We'll get it, we'll get it though. A second. Ah, uh, these like sub pixels are really getting me. I think the randomized sprite is okay. It seemed like they were able to place all of these types when these types were the ones that I originally grew with Crastorio 2. Okay, there's my whole chunk. So then I should be able to copy this, put that in a blueprint. Um, go in the editor, put it in my blueprint book, go in the editor, place, delete, Copy. Grab that. It's annoying that they're not all straight lines, but we'll see. Um, apparently there's one dead tree. Try this again. For the last time. Put that in here. And... Uh, 32 by 32 relative. Please work this time. These baby no whammies. I see. I see bots doing things. Not very many though. All 446 are out, but where are they? Oh, they're just in little, little tiny stacks. Like, faster than normal. Yeah, 
Yes. It begins. The blue forest. Take a screenshot of that. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh no, they have to charge. Here. You guys need some more charging charging stations along the way. Oh gosh, what's my power network doing right now? <laughs> it's okay, this is totally worth it. Totally worth it. This wall has continued to be effective, even when all the trees are dead. It still kept pollution out of this corner. You can see it's it's made a dent. So a chunk of trees here should should really help with this whole northern section. I do need the better charging algorithm. You're right. We need Factorio 2.0 yesterday. lights over there too. But hey, this this beats driving back and forth in a in a car for like 3 hours or whatever. If we got it yesterday, we wouldn't have belt stacking. Good point. <laughs> Good. So, I know Crystorio 2 has air filters, as many YouTube commenters have told me, but Cirky, Cirky wants real trees, guys. So we gotta give him what he wants. Cirky says, real trees are the way. Also, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. I guess they still have a few more to go, but they're mostly done. All right, so pollution numbers are up to negative 55. Oh, yeah, negative 55. Negative 56. Seven. <laughs> Looks like that's where we peak out, just under negative 58 a minute. That'll eat pretty big gobs of pollution. Yep, there it went. It's only every few seconds that it does a, like, pollution consumption tick. So it like builds up for a little while, 243, 207, yeah, it just went down by a ton. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, well, you know what research we should do next is, uh, where is it? Oh, oh, we can do it. Okay, there we go, bot speed. Bot speed will help a lot with this. So I think... Let's do another RoboPort. We'll do a few. We'll kind of make like a wall of RoboPorts up here. So there's plenty of charging areas. And then we'll do another, we'll do another chunk. And we'll see, we'll see what two chunks of trees can do for now. Besides, um, each chunk is like a thousand trees. Awesome. Awesome possum. And we still have zero out of four, four, six. That number should be going up. Oh, 
Available construction bots. Oh, it's kind of annoying. It's because it's filled with logistics bots, huh? So maybe we need actually something like this. Where instead it fills a chest and then that chest just over time will empty out. Huh. Kind of interesting how that works. All right, how's the pollution doing? We're down to 178. It's shrinkifying. Where I really need a chunk of trees is like right here, where it's over a thousand. <laughs> I think later I'll do like a, a three by three chunk of trees. And it'll just eat all the pollution here. It's very enjoyable. Some people use solar panels, but I'd rather use gas power and trees. Like, I wonder how many trees you would have to surround, you know, like uh, this gas power plant with for them to eat all of the pollution. It'd be pretty easy, though. With blueprinted trees, I could just drag over this whole thing and... They'd be completely surrounded. Help eat all the pollution. All right, we can we can go back to you know getting the to-do list done, like smelting iron and stuff. Smelting iron and stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Let's replace our stone miners with tier twos. Um, mm -hmm. So just have a lot of random, deletable blueprints. Okay, um, let's see. I want an upgrade planner. On mining drills. Hit up stone and the copper. Ta da! Ooh, and these ones have three module slots. I thought I checked the module slots, and I thought it said two. Am I making that up? Clearly I was wrong. I don't know. I thought we looked at the control shift F and it only had two modules. Left. Sweet, okay, well that's that's gonna get rid of our stone patch pretty quick then. Oh yeah, aren't regular regular miners have three normally? Um, but Crastorio must nerf them. It's down here somewhere. Module... Uh, mining drill prototype. Module specification. It shows two module slots. But I thought when we had done that on this guy, and we went down to module specification, I thought it said two. But yeah, that definitely says three. Huh. Must have missed it. Uh, you know what I didn't consider? Shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. Um. Did any copper get this far? Doesn't look like it. Oh, gosh. 
so what you have to consider when you upgrade is that there's a larger area that they now mine and you know the copper's tainted too now uh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of forgot about that. fine. Hey, Galdok! Welcome, welcome, Raiders. How's everybody doing? What have you been up to? Mod development? Of some form or fashion? For those of you that don't know, that are watching on YouTube or whatever, Galdoc is developing Galdoc's Manufacturing, which is a super awesome mod with mini symbolers and all sorts of other things. So you guys should go check that out. Um, gosh, I need to just fill some storage chests. I made a mess and now I have to clean it up. I got mixed. Mixed belts. Bad news, bears. Because we upgraded from tier 1 miners to tier 2, and the tier 2s have a bigger area, and so there were some miners that were on the corner between stone and copper, and now they got copper. Yeah, Galdok, I get it. You got a scoot. That's why you stopped streaming. Thanks for stopping by, and thank you for the raid. Uh, I guess I could do a splitter, but at this point, I'm committed to not mixing. I'm in too deep. Okay, wait, did I reconnect it already? Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Um, and then the copper one. For one, I can just follow to the smelters and see if anything... Yeah, we're good there. That one's disconnected anyway. Alright. That wasn't too bad. I've, I've had worse mishaps. Indeed, indeed. How much is even left on these? We still have a million stone. The copper's a little lower, 318k, but the stone is still a relatively large amount. Um, we just weren't mining it quickly enough because it's a small patch. And that's where maybe having one more is helpful. To get more stone. I guess we will filter copper. Left. We're always using enough copper, I'm not too worried about it. Should have done this ten years ago. Um, sine wave, I did miss one of the copper belts, but I also didn't, because um, that copper belt's not doing anything anymore. I've only got the one belt going to this. I turned off the non-enriched copper, so it's all just enriched copper now. What's up, Teus? Welcome. You taking a Minecraft break?
I guess I might as well just throw that in there. Alright, let's get some science going. Everything's backed up. Let's do... Okay, we'll do inventory slots, then we will do reach, then we will do... Those nanobot upgrades are too expensive. We'll do one more radar upgrade. I'll research energy shield equipment. We'll research exoskeletons. And... Uh, nothing else really matters. Logistics bots can carry one extra. And then we'll start working towards advanced labs and low density structure, and we can get towards yellow packs, which will allow for requester chests. Oh no. Six hours of sleep is not enough, though a lot of people wish that it was. It is not. Okay, so we need to get iron plates upgraded. I think that's the next, the next goal. But we'll go find our hovercraft. There it is. Ooh. And check on the tree pollution. How are the trees doing on eating? Mm, they're eating pretty good, but we still haven't dropped below 150. There we go. We just did. They're, they're trying. They're trying. Do I have everything I need? I've got chem plants. I've got the types of pipes that we need. You know what we should do is put those. Eh, not yet. Hey, high speed, how's it going? And then after this, we're going to have to start setting up a uh, rail network on the other island. Yeah, high-speed freight forwarding is pretty cool. It separates the game into islands, and then it puts uh, the ores onto other islands, and then you have to use these cargo ships to transfer things between islands. It's a cool concept. It, it forces you into a different style of gameplay. I increased the frequency of all the ores um, just because I didn't want to have to go hunting on a bunch of different islands. Uh, I think by default, you probably would need to find at least two or three islands to find everything. We kind of got lucky, plus I increased the ore frequency, and so everything we need is on this island. There might not, <coughs> there might not be enough titanium. We may need to find another island for more titanium eventually because there's only two two little patches. But everything else I think we'll, we'll have enough of from this island. Maybe not enough uranium either. We shall see. But for now, <clears throat> for now it is enough. And let's turn off pollution. Copy this build. Yes, I also almost shot myself in the foot with the... I have a 20 times science multiplier, but you know, that's just for fun. Uh, the hover car came from the hovercraft mod, which uh, is part of the official freight forwarding mod pack. Because you kind of need it. And then I'll just copy this because I pretty much need the same thing. So I'll put it down here so I have leave room for the train network. Don't think about 
Okay. Yeah, the uh, the full list, the mod or the the save file to sync if you want to sync with game settings and stuff is on my Discord, on the Cardania Discord. There's a link in the about. Um, there's a couple mods though I've downloaded since the beginning, so I probably should re rehost that file. It's not fully up to date. Now that I will leave, because that's making the containers. Although, no, we'll just bring down the iron once we've smelted it the right way. But then I don't need that. Get rid of all this. Ah, empty containers. Just deconstruct all that. belts of iron do we actually need here? At least two, especially if I upgrade miners to the next tier. Let's see, we'll focus that left. Definitely be one captured. I think that's good enough. I didn't really do that carefully, to say the least. Should be a little longer. And we're enriching iron, not copper. I need to start um, delivering modules, but I'm gonna wait until I have two tier two modules and a bit better module production to really change everything over. Oh, let's see, we want this to be in the party left. Perfect. Although I do need to extract some for making the containers down south, so let's do that. Ah! Well, that's a little inconvenient. Okay. 
Okay. That was down here. And then I still need the coal and coke production. Or the coal to be producing coke so that I can make steel and make containers. Okay. That's all good. And now we need to provide the sulfuric acid. Let's do that. Get rid of all this copper. Or copper. This is not copper. This is iron. Okay, where is the nearest sulfuric? It's right up here. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. Mamma mia. Oh, and water. Forgot about the water. Let's just grab water from over here. We'll even get ourselves a fresh offshore pump. Yeah, right? Oh no, wherever will I get water from in this map where water's in every direction? Do I have a doodad already? Wind turbine? I do. There we go. Alright, there's the enriched iron. Ah oh, yes, we must change the recipe. Blue water's forbidden, you must get green water. You know, that would be interesting if pumps pumped a different type of water once it turns green, and you had to actually um, properly utilize clean water versus polluted water. Okay, so this is the supply. I will just split this off for the iron usage as well. Because this prioritizes using uh, the containers that I get back from the shipping. Okay, now what is... why did this stop? Ah, right. The dirty water. Must do some processing. Oh, by the way, this is not fast enough. We were curious about that earlier. The answer is it ain't. So I need two crushers and two filtration plants. Yeah, I mean, you can assume the pump filters out like large, you know, things, but it's definitely not depolluting the water. It's not distilling and filtering anything. It's not big enough for that. At least if it is, it's got some sort of void void mechanism inside, because it's definitely doing more than just that. Now, I thought we calculated that this would be fast enough. How is this not fast enough? Because together... The 0.1 copper per second is almost meaningless because the copper only takes... Well, I know it's feeding itself. Uh, that is the point. I still thought it was fast enough. The copper voids in two seconds per one copper. So we only use 
point two like seconds of crafting per second. So that leaves us with point eight by default. And in this case, it leaves us with 1.6 because of how much I've sped it up. And so the three stone takes five times, you know, maybe there's not enough. Because stone, I think we determined takes five each. Yeah, because the stone itself takes point three. And then the sand is what takes most of it. Each sand takes two. Yeah, I was doing the math wrong on that somehow. Um, Somehow, I say that like it's easy. It's very complicated, man. Okay. Of course, I don't have any modules to feed it, but hopefully that's okay. Is this enough? <laughs> now I've got myself curious again. So, 0.3 stone is one tenth of this. So that's another 0.1 crusher time. And we already said the copper was 0.2. So we're up to 0.3 crusher time. But we're making two and a half stone per, uh, two and a half sand per stone. So two and a half times 0.3 is 0.75 sand per second. And that sand requires 0.75 times 2 is 1.5 crusher time. And we already determined I'm using 0.3. Which totals out to 1.8, which is exactly what we had. So, based on that, it should have been exactly keeping up, right? And that's assuming these are both running 100% of the time, which it looks like they are. Um, so my math is wrong, or something else is going on. Point one and point three. The stone is taking one point one pressure time. The sand taking two and a half. Six times three times two and a half is seven point five. Two and a half sand. We're getting point seven five sand, which takes one point five of the pressure time. And then the copper. I think I'm doing this right. Copper is taking point two, because it's point one copper a second. So all that put together, you get exactly 1.8. Hmm. I wonder if it was inserters being too slow and that was delaying it and it wasn't running 100% of the time. That could be it. Or I'm doing the math wrong and I just don't care enough to do more than that. Oh, you're right. When it grabs stone, it has to wait until it has enough stone to run. So it was having some downtime with every cycle. That's probably what it was. Well, that probably explains it. Ugh, dang it. I pumped water in when I literally already forgot that it gives you 100% of the water back and I could just use a condenser. Whatever. Whatever. When will we get a supply exact mode? You know, I wonder if that's going to be possible given that that's kind of how the stack inserters work. Um, that might just make sense.
Hey, guacamole. Thanks for the follow. Bad boys run. Drop into a chest. Craft another one. Grab. And there we go. Now that's a total of two, which. 1.8 wasn't quite enough, so 2 might not quite be enough. So I'm going to find somewhere. I know there are some speed mods. Oh, it needs. Oh, of course it's... Ah! Replacing them. Um, no! I need them. Let me have them. 3 should be enough. Uh, you can get tiny amounts. It's not... I don't think it's worth dealing with the hassle. It's such a small amount. We're talking, I think the number was 0.2% of your ore recycled. Titanium might be worth it once I have logistics bots, because I, I am a little short on titanium. But as far as like getting more iron or copper back, it's definitely not worth it, or rare metals. Um, okay, so that's working. The iron is being not properly. Is it working? It doesn't look like it's working right. These are just slow. Yeah, these need to be way longer. Um. Well, we'll have beacons soon enough. Dirty water isn't typed. Uh, correct. Yeah, there's not a different type of dirty water per ore, which is thankfully a bit easier to deal with. Okay, so that's uh, containerizing the plates, and then I'll just, uh, nah, we'll have a separate bill. I don't want to screw things up too much. That'll come up here. And now it is time for the next boat. Uh, did I turn this? I must have deleted it. Yeah. Oh, nope, there it is. Planes bringing in more water fill, so I can just grab that. That's super nice. Okay, we're out of nanobots. Shoot. Guess we're doing it ourselves. Copy all of this onto the island or the loading dock or whatever we want to call that. Oh, I really need more nanobots. And then uh, that's the one part I want to do now because that's going to be iron load.
Uh, yes, you, we just saw one fly by, actually, dropping off more water fill. Um, if by drones you mean airplane drones, yes. There aren't any, um, like, transport drones. There are logistics bots, but not transport drones, which are two different mods. Okay, so there's the iron going up to that, which we'll need a new boat for, which we'll need to get refueled. So I do need more nanobots to get all this going. Let's go do that. There goes an empty boat. That's the titanium one. We still haven't... We need our rail network before I can fully get the titanium automated. Heck, I might have actual logistics bots before I get that done. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Logistics bots can't carry titanium containers. They either would need to go on a belt or on a train. Okay, listen. Those were piles of stone. Yes, those were items on the ground. Because I put a decon planner on the whole island for rocks and trees. So I've deconstructed a lot of rocks without having room for the rocks. Um, There's a part of me. There's a part of me. I feel like everybody would riot if I did this. But a part of me wants to put it all on a belt and use a circuit use fancy circuit conditions to send um to send belt belted uh containers is that crazy i'm pretty sure one belt would have enough throughput so i would only need one belt snaking you know all the way down here and I could send the requests essentially through a circuit network connected either with signal transmission or along big poles. And then I could use some sort of latch thingamajigger that would only reset when a cargo ship arrives or something. Or something that measures both so like the port, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Teus. That's the attitude I was expecting. I'll probably get a million YouTube comments. And of course, by the time this episode comes out, it'll be a week and a half from now and I'll have done 15 more episodes. But anyway, I would send, I would send the request signal from the port. It would arrive at the place, the location. They would get thrown on the belt and then it would have some sort of latch to say, okay, we've we've sent it. And it, so it would stop loading more on the belt. It would take, you know, five minutes or whatever to get all the way over here. And then there would be some sort of circuitry that once it receives them, then it like says, okay, now we're ready to ask for more. Like it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to ask for more until it receives the ones that it already asked for. So it would essentially request one chunk of containers at a time, which might be 80, it might be 100, it might be five. Um, I kind of like the, it, it's, see, that sounds fun to me to try to get that working. Um, does it go against the spirit of FFF? Maybe. Um, it's not, a, it, it, there's a lag time. It's not downtime. Um, there's a lag time because it would take a while for the resources to get, but we can request as many as we want. Just like with trains, it's the same concept. You request more than you need so that the amount of time it takes the train to go get stuff doesn't really matter because it just maintains enough. Um, so we would essentially need a two-way belt, one with the... Trains are not more throughput. They're just a faster response time, and the response time is irrelevant as long as it's all moving. Um, 
you know, basically you only have to pay the upfront five minute, you know, however many minutes it would take an item to go across on a blue belt. I'd, I would do blue belts at that point. Um, you only have to pay that cost in time once. Because after that, it just keeps sending more. And once you've waited for the first batch, you still get the batches just as frequently. Uh, it's just a question of, you know, you're getting the five minutes ago batch now when you would normally get the train batch, but you only ever had to wait for the one. I probably won't do it that way. So you can all breathe a sigh of relief. I will do trains, but I like the idea. There's a part of me that is, has been enjoying circuits recently and part of me wants to try it. Are there black belts for robots that know jujitsu? Uh, I don't think so, but that would be fun. There are green belts and purple belts. Or actually, wait, is it green and purple? I forget what colors Crystorio uses. Um, yeah, green and purple. Meet them halfway and do both. Uh, doing both, I think, is the worst of both worlds. What was I here for? You know what? It doesn't matter. I can just stand here. So, I think I might be... <laughs> I Look... I, I happened to stand in the one section of the base that doesn't have robot covered yet. What are the odds? Well, you know what we can do? Instead of shooting this, I can just turn that into a storage chest, and then I can build it. Yeah, nanobots are requested, though, so we can just wait. Oh, that's turned off. That explains why I'm not getting all my deliveries. There we go. Here come the bots. <laughs> I don't even know what you were planning on doing, but I support it. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate the support. I'm not sure if I know exactly what I was planning on doing either, but it would have been very confusing in terms of circuit conditions, that's for sure. Ah, yes. Bring me my items. It is wonderful. I remember, I still remember the feeling I got the first time logistics bots were delivering items to me, and it was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The first time you you just get items delivered, oh, Mwah. chef's kiss. Um, now what's going on with these? I thought I put provider chests on these. I didn't. I just completely imagined doing that. Okay, there we go. Oh, I put the requests in. I didn't put the provider chest on. Uh, we're also missing steel beams, which I have plenty of right here. Um, <laughs> this shit looks overwhelming. Yep, that is one way to put it. Uh, how many hours? I am... It's been a while since we've hit a milestone, so I have no idea. We are 24 plus 18 is 42 hours in. So not crazy amounts of time, but a decent, decent amount. You make a special dedicated, plat decorated platform between gates on all sides to stand. That's fun. Your little receiving, receiving area. Oh man. Oh, how many total? Uh, what am I at? Here, let me tab out to Steam real quick. I am at, and it's, it's a pretty small number actually for factorial players, but we are at 1800 hours, 1820. Um, so I believe though I bought Factorio before it was on Steam. Is that right? I'll have to I'll have to double check. But I'm pretty sure I bought it before it existed on Steam. So there's probably a few hundred hours that I played before it was on Steam. So we'll call it an even 2000. But then there's some amount of AFK, so maybe it's not really 2000. I don't know. Um anyway, we should have our nanobots now. That's why we came back. 
And I feel like I should do something else while I'm here, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> yes, past the tutorial stage. <laughs> you could say that. And yeah, guacamole, enjoy it. Factorio is an amazing game. Pretty much infinite replayability. Especially once you count modding into it, it's, it's absurd. And I would definitely say it's not about the time played. There are people who have only played for 500 hours who know things I don't know. Probably even less than 500. And there are people who have played for 10,000 hours that still have only played vanilla. There's a lot of, lot of ways to slice the cake. But I'm going to plop another chunk of trees over here. Wait, we don't have... We need more RoboPorts up there. I guess I'll plop one here then for now. Our construction bots can get some more pollution absorbed. Yeah, I think uh, Sine Wave, I'm, I'm the same. There's, there's basically nothing about Factorio not to like. The only thing not to like is that sometimes I'm not in the mood because it feels too difficult. But most of the time, that's a good thing. But there are moods that I get in where Factorio is not what I'm feeling. Um, speaking of things not running, why is my plastic dead? Oh, I'm out of coal. Oh, I probably never reconnected it. Yep. I broke it and didn't fix it. Although that's actually not where I thought it was broken. Didn't we break it further up the stream? Or maybe we fixed it properly. Mm, looks like it's working. Okay, never mind. Pull is fine. Uh, blueprint trees requires a mod. Yeah, you have to get the blueprint trees mod. But it only really works with mods that allow you to craft trees anyway. So. All right. Uh, how's that happening? Uh, progress is happening. trees I wondered did I place it won't show me it only shows you the ones actually I don't even know when it'll show you or not I guess we can hit uh, production do trees count as buildings yeah they do 29,000 trees I have placed oh plus 6.2 thousand I've built 35,000 trees Sviplet, it inspired you for your own FF with very BZ instead of K2. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll, that's a lot of metals that you're going to have to transport. Guacamole, just to reduce pollution for fun. Crastorio has its own air filters, but I decided to just not. And we're using trees instead because it's way cooler. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, and that will have to be in the next YouTube episode because we're already at an hour and ten minutes on this one, but we need to finish this. We need to make another canal here for iron unloading, and then we have to belt it up. So We're getting there. Lasers are still doing fine, by the way. Dragon's teeth have done their job. Nothing's really happened damage anything in a while so yeah sweet sweet okay well for those of you on youtube um leave a comment below let me know what you think and i will see you guys in the next episode as always thank you for watching